Probably, probably broken neck or something. Wall now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jesus. Yeah. She does yeah. have voluptuous eyes. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but. Welcome back to another episode of Cape Critiquers. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and leave a like underneath this video. It really helps with how it performs in YouTube's algorithm. Today we're going to be talking about Alita Battle Angel. Uh, also, my allergies are killing me, so if <laughs> I sound <laughs> terrible, that's why. Um, right off the bat, while I was watching this, I had, I had never seen this before, and mm-hmm. I was watching it this morning before we did this. And at one point I was like, wow, this really feels like Spy Kids. And then oh, the, I mm-hmm. looked it up, directed by Robert Rodriguez. That, exactly. Yeah. Who did all yeah. the Spy Kids yeah. movies. And, and he sort of fell into it after years of um, push to the side for other projects. Yeah. And Cameron was supposed to do it himself. Mm-hmm. And then I guess he got busy with other projects, as he always does, because he never sleeps. And just a preference, talking about James Cameron. And, and it just sort of happened that they both had the same vision, I guess. And it looks like it is directed by Cameron. It, it turned out okay for me. I don't know. I mean, it wasn't perfect. Don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, I'd say the directing is probably the best part. I think so. So yeah, and I think because they both had the same vision, and it worked out. It is like a weird matchup, though, because mm-hmm. like the guy who directed fucking Spy Kids. Yeah, right. Avatar. I know. Yeah, no, exactly. Although, Although like, like yeah. I've Avatar. always felt this about Robert Rodriguez. He kind of does better when he has like a better director overseeing everything. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe he's a good apprentice. He is. He's <laughs> a great like. Yeah. He's like the top level guy that like a good director could work with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, he seems like he's friendly with some of the biggest people in the industry. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I mean, like he's a definitely know, like an so. actor's director. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, where did this story come from? I mean, I uh, heard that it's from the, a Japanese manga. So that's so, but it was introduced to James Cameron by director Del Toro. Guillermo Del Toro. Whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. Guillermo. Yeah, that's who yeah. introduced him to the story, and he like fell in love with it. The whole genre, apparently, and he yeah. fell in love with it. And I see that yeah. Del Toro is like mm-hmm. big on uh, he's big into that, that type of stuff. stuff. Yeah. And I was telling you, the story really reminded me of Rocket Boy. Mm-hmm. So okay. I thought that Dad was gonna love this movie because it reminded me a lot of Real Steel. Yeah. Well, there was a lot of Real Steel stuff in it mixed in to a movie I was talking about, Jack Rollerball, but. Going back to like the 1970s, and I guess they remade it, but there's that rollerball thing in it. You saw rollerball, oh, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, that was a big movie for us. Now it's probably cheesy to you that guys. That was the one with James Conn. James Conn. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, and so it had a lot of elements of all these stories. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think that's what it made it work because it integrated well. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. But apparently, Rocket Boy, I think that's, no, it's Astro Boy. Astro Boy. Astro Astro Boy. Boy. Yeah. But Astro Boy, mm-hmm. where it had like the whole island and like trash yeah. underneath. Apparently, that was like not from the original like Astro Boy manga or whatever right. and like it was just stolen from <laughs> uh, this movie or like this movie source yeah. which is weird the design of Olita oh yeah, yeah kind of getting into the CGI you mm-hmm. had just mentioned reminded you a lot of the Avatar 2 technology yeah mm-hmm. I-, I found her very creepy looking Really? Yeah, her eyes bothered the fuck out of me. <laughs> I see. I thought that was like some of the best part of it. I and actually, the actress who does her voice actually does have bold eyes like that. Not as big. Really? But who, who does the? She does. Voice? Who does Do we know? Yeah, they, it's Rosa Salazar. Okay. Yeah, yeah she she does yeah. have voluptuous eyes. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I I feel like they tried to put the the anime or manga style mm-hmm. into like a real form, which yeah. Yeah, she looked great for the most part, but the, again, the eyes just scared the shit out of me for some reason. <laughs> yeah, it was is it a, a little distraction bit. for yeah, you. It was a distraction for me. Really? I couldn't. I couldn't. Every time she was on the camera, I was like, eyes. Mm-hmm. I, I found that to be one of the yeah. endearing things really? about her. That's what that I separated said. her from the rest of the characters mm-hmm. and the rest of the the you know uh, mechanized people. Yeah, yeah. That, I, that makes sense. Yeah, it is yeah. weird though that she would have eyes like that. Yeah, you know, it's mm-hmm. like. I guess, you know, she was a part of this, like, one, not race, but, like, line of bots, Mm -hmm. I guess. Still, though, it's just weird that, like, even the Martians or whatever would have them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What were your thoughts on the CGI in this first with working with the real actors in it, in the movie? I thought it was pretty great. I mean, it 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 is pretty seamless. I mean, you you kind of looked at her in scenes, and it seemed very human. Yeah, right. I mean, like we said, or I guess like Jack said, mm-hmm. the Avatar comparison is pretty spot yeah. on because right. it, it does remind me a lot of like 
when Jake Sully is in human form in Avatar. Yeah. Mm. I mean, right. even like the going underwater. Scene, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Like that's something that was pretty mm-hmm. uh, like big in Avatar too. So especially like to even pull it off in 2019, mm-hmm. I think this yeah. came yeah, out. That's, so that's yeah, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. That's 19. For me, the opening scene, just mm-hmm. you know, that big junkyard. Yeah, where he was looking for parts and everything. It was like it opened up like that, and I was yeah. like, wow, that's like yeah. visually, that's like crazy yeah you know? yeah i think it does a lot better of a job than a lot of movies try to do right. yeah. mm-hmm. when it comes to like you know this like futuristic but like also underground world type right thing. yeah a yeah. lot of movies the, the like try to do that exact uh, same thing and it doesn't look that good right yeah. yeah i think it's mostly because like the world in this is a lot better than most yeah. even though uh, like most of my issues with this movie is the world building itself mm-hmm. right but yeah I, it's actually a really and interesting the f- like spot on point. yeah the fact to me that the world like the whole scene around the world seemed very lived in in this movie as compared to some of the others that have yeah. this type of idea mm-hmm. where everything's something brand new but this just seemed like it was just a progression like of what happens after the fall yeah you know and it was, it was pretty good i agree with jack though where it's like everything visually is very great but mm-hmm. then not for everything but a good majority of stuff it's like you're kind of just like you just have to like accept like that's just the way that things are right. there sometimes without right. like explanation yeah mm-hmm. i mean i i meant like more like the world itself is like like the world i don't know like the stuff that is like set up in the world is mm-hmm. good mm-hmm. and like well done but like how it shows it isn't that great that's mm-hmm. what i meant you know okay. not yeah just there's like- no there's no depth to it it's kind of one this is one city Mm-hmm. in the world yeah. what happens to the rest of the world yeah. is there no one else there? I mean, they, they sort of touched on that that and that's why there was so many different di- languages di- languages and cultures i thought that was a very weird thing like everybody uh, we just migrated. wanted to do this because this is like a movie and we have to have some reason why we have mm-hmm. all these different yeah. types of actors mm-hmm. you know? yeah <laughs> yeah like i don't i doubt that's a thing in the manga yeah mm-hmm. i kept going back to the fact that even uh, the uh, you know not primary characters but everyone that was walking by that had a you know bionic arm or mm-hmm. whatever just look like they had a freaking bionic arm yeah. it wasn't yeah. like mm-hmm. uh, you know like they attached this plastic thing so he could walk by it the cgi was like wow yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. i think it's really easy to underappreciate that too yeah we're like you know i feel like a lot of people could watch this and then watch something like rebel moon right and not see the difference visually there mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so the character creeped you out yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, this was like the second or third time I watched the movie, and at the very beginning, you know, when she first wakes up, and she doesn't remember anything, mm-hmm. and she com- kind of comes downstairs, I-, I still got that little twing when she looked at the doctor and said, well, you know, what's my name? Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. know what my name is. And he said, Alita, know, can yeah. we call you Alita? And I already knew why he would call yeah, her that. Yeah. I mean, I think that scene kind of alludes to it, because he looks at the doctor, and the doctor looks at him like, really? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, yeah. but I already knew that he had lost his daughter. Yeah. You know, yeah, the first yeah. time you watch the movie, you don't know that until mm-hmm. later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was kind of like, oh. Yeah. You know. For the most part, I'd say like a good majority of the movie is kind of predictable story wise. But right. the one where it actually like flipped it for me and like actually got me was when Christopher Waltz character, you know, she thinks he's the murderer. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah but then yeah. it turns out, you know, he's. One of hunter. these hunter warrior guys, yeah. mm-hmm. and he's you know stopping the mm-hmm. murders. Yeah, she th- he she thought he was going to kill that woman. Yeah. They, yeah. I mean, yeah. they played it up really, really well, yeah. and actually had me like hook, line, and sinker mm-hmm. for that yeah. one. So. And it's such like a great way to introduce like hunter warriors. Yeah, you know? yeah. But it's just like you don't even know about it till then. Yeah, yeah so. mm-hmm. um, you kind of do because that Zalem guy. Zapan. Zapan. Oh, Zapan. Yeah, yeah. He's a uh, Zalem. As much else as I something? hate him, was a great character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. he's like introduced and I mm-hmm. think Hugo mentions he's a hunter warrior yeah. but you don't know what they are yeah. well he wasn't a hunter warrior though no, he, he? He, no, he, he was he, like owned he, all of them or whatever no he was no, a hunter warrior he was himself yeah they were all hanging but out did at he the call bar. him a hunter Who, warrior wait, or a, did he call him a uh, they're bounty hunters bounty hunter hunter Zopan Same, yeah the Mahershala Ali? no that's Vector oh that's who's Vector controlled who's controlled by then. Nova right who's Zopan uh, the guy with the pretty boy face and the mohawk and that awesome sword yeah 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 whatever it was called the one in the bar where isn't mm-hmm. she that, looks I, at him and I says you don't deserve that I weapon so. yeah but see that was something that was almost with that weapon it i didn't figure it out till later on that he probably didn't kill somebody for it he probably found it right correct. by that yeah. ship absolutely you mm-hmm. know yeah because that was way beyond that was because then it lit up with her 
Yeah. yeah, that's actually interesting. I didn't mm-hmm. put yeah. that together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't put it together until I saw it glowing in her hand. Well, that's yeah. that is part why of. They also did like the. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you have this fire thing that I, I don't even know what it could be for. I'm yeah. sure you know. I don't right. think she used it once. That it was to light up her sword. To light up her that's sword. It. That's yeah. what it did. that gave the sword yeah. even more power. But yeah. she doesn't use it. But she it was it to light up her sword. That's the reason. That the she sword that powers up, up I know, that sword. She didn't use the powered up sword. She and she did. Most yeah, certainly yeah, she, she fought. Did. She fought oh, all she the, the, the yeah, mesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I don't oh, think know. she did for a second. Yeah, no. Anyway. It became, and then she even had it where it clicked right into her suit. Yeah, yeah. You know? Pretty wild. I Problems with the movie. Um, eyes. Well, like eyes. I said, <laughs> the fucking eyes. The eyes. <laughs> like I said, like I don't have a the world building is just not that great. Right. You know. The like, pacing is kind of yeah, the slow. Is the slow. The second yeah. half is a lot better. Yes, no I doubt. Disagree. See, I think, and, and I know Jack likes this one part in the movie when she has the fight below the mm-hmm. bar. With, yeah, I forget the character's name. Greswick, Gr- Gr- Dwayne something? the Rock yeah. Johnson. <laughs> Do you know who plays him though? Rorschach. Yeah. It's Rorschach. Guy. Really? Oh, it is really. Wow. wow. Okay. Well, it's Earl Haley or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, after that, I think the movie took off mm-hmm. in a great fashion. Yeah. I really do. Mm-hmm. Because it came alive, and then I mean, now she knows who she is. She knows yeah. what her purpose is. That's like where the movie picks up, for yeah. sure. But then I also feel like towards like the last Actus movie, everything that happens is so fast. Yes. Mm. But, and it's I'm, like the last 40 minutes of this movie. It's like everyone's yeah. motivations are just like, okay, fuck it. We're doing this thing now. <laughs> and as much as it was intertwined and it was okay in this movie, I think the romance uh, uh, aspect took a little bit away from it. Yeah, I did not. I think care it got in the way a little about bit. Their yeah. I didn't care either. It could have been done a different way where it was a friend basically hurting a friend instead of him having to be a romance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I especially didn't care after mm-hmm. he was brought back to life and died three seconds later. No, I, mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, so exactly. Dumb. His final death scene, if he's actually really dead, I don't I haven't read the manga, but like, mm-hmm. just like half a body falling into clouds is like kind of funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, because, well, it was what happened to her. Mm-hmm. Basically, she was found as a half a body mm-hmm. at yes, the bottom yeah. and still but I just, alive. I mean, that's not the reason why I found it funny. Mm. <laughs> but it, it was just like a funny visual of right. like half a body. Yeah. Even like the clouds were like kind of weird looking. That was like weird visual. Yeah. My problem with the movie was I never like they didn't give you like her purpose right away. She mm-hmm. was kind of just bouncing around. I, I understand she didn't know who she was and whatever. But the movie itself, there wasn't like a focal point mm-hmm. of where they were headed mm-hmm. with it. So, I, yeah, I, I kind of don't fight even scenes. know like what her purpose is. Like what is she supposed to be like? the fucking like michael jordan of like this ball game and then she can go to like the next city i you know you know it was just that was my the only because i kept saying to myself all right she's 300 years old yeah you know she was built as a warrior and probably more than 300 years yeah yeah you know yeah so what what was what is she needed for then Mm. i'd say that it was like exactly if not worse the way that they like so clearly are setting this movie up for a sequel like at the mm-hmm. same way that right. spider yeah. first right. movie did well, they still say there could be a sequel for this this movie is clearly setting up for a sequel and they haven't done one yet mm-hmm. but like it, it just really took away from the end because like i'm like everything that's happening here is like just a big setup right for something mm-hmm. right i I'd, I'd say i didn't really have that issue honestly i felt like all the like arcs and everything were like I'd, finished for at least this part i would I have definitely to, disagree yeah i'd have to agree with aj on this it was it felt like a build-up because again, I didn't feel like there was a big, huge boss fight in the end. It was just little fights that she had that she basically went through. People she dominated. Like butter, yeah. It even feels like you know, like Nova is clearly the villain. Yeah. Right. A hundred percent. I mean, yeah, uh, he is. But like, I kind of feel like it's like the Avengers killing like Loki or not killing, but you know, mm-hmm. and then like the actual villain Thanos. You know, I guess. Right. But like. There's yet to be a sequel, and like, who knows if there ever will be. I mean, that's just like James Cameron, yeah. you know? He's just gonna take fucking 12 years. Yeah, okay, so let's say there is never a sequel to this. I'm not happy with this as a standalone movie. I, don't I feel like I like it, like the arcs and everything that they have. I would also disagree because, like I said, I felt like when everything's getting rushed towards the end, like a lot of characters' arcs finish with them kind of just making decisions like the drop of a hat, you know? Yeah, I could agree with that. Because, like, the whole, like... Especially um, Jennifer Connelly's character. Mm. But, like... I was going to bring yeah, her that up. That was weird. Yeah. Very flat. 
But Hugo, yeah. Yeah. one of her worst actors. Yes, ever. Hugo just yeah. like showing up to his friends mm-hmm. in the middle of them killing or not killing, yeah. but like robbing somebody's p- body parts. Right, <laughs> was weird. Yeah. He's like, there's one thing I gotta do. And I had no idea what he was gonna do, <laughs> honestly. And then he's just like, we have to stop, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought he was going out to rob body parts. Yeah, I thought he was gonna right. keep doing it. Because, mm-hmm. like, why not? Well, that was, he, he wanted the chains that cut. Mm-hmm. That yeah. was the guy mm-hmm. that they mm-hmm. were robbing it from so they could put that on the big. No, no, this was a different. That was later this, on. That was that was before or later on. Yeah. This he, was just a random dude on the street. Yeah, yeah they, they were, were like continuing, like his friend Tan. Yeah, he'd already stolen those body parts. Yeah. For this them. is when she was in her first match of. Yeah. She was actually. It wasn't really her first the match. She was. Yeah, well, it was ball. like rollerball. Yeah. Her, What's uh, it also called? An inaugural. Roll roll. Well, it was like her first professional match. Yeah, I think it is actually called rollerball. Motorball. 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 Yeah. Motorball. Yeah. yeah. Real steel. <laughs> <laughs> I just could not help thinking of that movie every time they were playing the motorball game because it's like such like a weird thing to do is like robots and sports. <laughs> just like the need to do that. Yeah. I don't know. That definitely had a lot of that feel, especially the back the scenes when they were, you know, uh, being coached and uh, put back together yeah, and all yeah, that. Right. It was definitely a lot of that real right. steel. To yeah. quickly just wrap up too. on what we were talking about, though, um, his intentions, like, I don't know, like, he just, you know, started loving her out of mm-hmm. nowhere. And then, like, right away was just like, guys, we can't do this anymore. We <laughs> yeah. cannot rob these <laughs> robot people. But it yeah. was also after... He was up with, I'm going to say Zorg, and I know it's no, wrong. fucking Zorg. Zorg. Vector. 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 Toy Story. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear. It, it was, he was with Vector that night. Remember, he had the hangover yeah. and everything, and Vector must have said, we want her heart. And here she is the next morning well, offering, that, yeah. offering the heart. And he's saying no, and that was like his moment, like, I can't do this. So think about this. You know? This guy said he was 90,000 credits away from raising a million dollars. Yeah. Just go do anything you want, dude. Like, yeah, I, you exactly. have almost a million dollars. Yeah. You know? yeah. But you're in a world that is apparently just there. What do you yeah. do with a million dollars there? And not Live be- like Vector. And not have somebody take you out. Yeah. Well, true. I was going to say, yeah, as yeah. long as Vector's around, I guess he would never enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of just a wasted Marissa Halali performance, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, he was pretty great in it. He, he was- He's good in it, but it's just like- See, Jack know. and I had this conversation. Not- it was the one scene where he is possessed by- Nova. Nova. And he's stabbed, and obviously even Nova says, oh, that looks fatal. And he's on the ground- dying but he still has nova controlling his mind i thought that was like a really good piece of acting i mean he, I he, he physically looked like he was dying but also focused mm-hmm. as wow. nova saying what he had to say yeah i mean that was, I, that was I, I never good. said he was bad in it i yeah. just think his good performance is kind of wasted like in this movie that's but. only because Connolly was next to him and this was just she not was a, very f- flat she, well, she was very flat as an actress in this. I just, it was I just like, don't think her character had a ton to work with. It didn't have yeah. a, a ton, and anybody else could have done it. Don't get me wrong. She's a good actress. She's a beautiful woman, but th- it could have been anybody else in this scene for me. Right. And right. I, It's kind of weird because I feel like her better. character is like, like maybe the most interesting one because she's like the biggest X factor in the whole thing. Yeah. Because she's yeah. working True. for the enemy, but at the same time, <laughs> mm-hmm. like ultimately has, you know, multiple connections yeah. to... And you know where side. she's from because yeah. she has the yeah. uh, the uh, stone in her head. But then, like that's I said, what freaked and- me out later on with her ex husband, Doctor. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say Doctor Zine. I Ito, know what's wrong. Ito. Ito, Doctor Ito. When you find out that he was actually born up there and he had the the mm-hmm. thing as well and removed it himself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the leader is yeah. technically has her daughter's body. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, until well, it's the yeah. face yeah. also. Destroyed. Because I forget the start scene. Yeah, I think it is. No, actually. No. The, the, they, she just had the body. Yeah, yeah just yeah, the body. Now I'm thinking yeah, of the flashbacks, the too. Yeah. yeah. The, the, so, the, the, which like, I will say. torso down. But the heart was hers, Alita's. Yeah. And the brain. And the brain. Yeah. I will say one thing. The the daughter's body that the Dr. Ito uh, created was actually, I found very pretty. Like, oh, very yeah. beautiful. No, the design yeah. on it mm-hmm. was very, very beautiful. Yeah. But yeah. Again, the, yeah. the CGI, though, made it. Made it, like, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Like she was there with, that's, yeah, yeah. With that's them. why I found it. So and even the nurse, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. unless they had an actor that had no arm, you know, maybe and, yeah, it's actually maybe. and had a prosthetic. I feel like Robert Rodriguez, like, is the type of guy to hire like six yeah. very popular actors and mm-hmm. then a ton of people yeah. that are just like you know, Amputees. might be an amputee. <laughs> yeah, seems like something I he could, would I do. could see that happening for this movie. Just 
going into a hospital and asking, you want to be in a movie? Yeah. I, I mean, she didn't talk, so. Yeah. No, she didn't really. What did you guys think of the fight scenes in this? I liked them. I liked just about all of yeah. them. I mm-hmm. thought were really good. Yeah. yeah. I'd say definitely when they the happen, best part mm-hmm. of the movie. Them. I mean, they happen pretty often. Yeah. Like, yeah. Especially for, like, just generic action movie. Well, not generic, but, like, mm-hmm. it's like for an action I'd movie, it's a lot more, like, fighting My scenes. My favorite ones. one was definitely the one in the bar. Oh, awesome. Yeah. See, I really enjoyed that only mm-hmm. because of the quips and everything. But I think that probably one of my favorite fight scenes was when she was in the, uh, I'm going to say rollerball, because like motorball motor yeah. mm-hmm. court, and she was fighting the other. Pe- that was other. my least favorite one. I knew really? you were going to like it because you like real steel. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I, I liked it, but I also liked it when she broke out of it and you know everything yeah, else. That was kind of cool, yeah. Yeah. And going through the town. I like how the announcer here was like, I've never, she's unbelievable. And she's out of the stadium. <laughs> that, that's why a lot of it, just what was going on, because the announcer had no idea that yeah. this was a setup. You know, mm-hmm. everybody else sort of figured it out that knew her, you know, yeah. or knew the scenes. Mm-hmm. I think my favorite thing about the bar fight scene is just like how it escalates by like going into the ground mm-hmm. and everything. Mm-hmm. Yep. And the one thing I don't like is like, how did she get like split into a million pieces? His. Yeah. Uh, like razor thing. Yeah, that those they, cables that came out. I feel as like she they was, just didn't show it. Yeah, correctly. as she yeah, was it, going it, at him, they kind of like wrapped in, around her and cut her. So she, I like, I was like trying to look at that, but like it didn't mm-hmm. really show it. You know? yeah. yeah, like she was just in between it. Like up to that point, I kind of felt like it was never visually established that they were also like razor sharp. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. You know? Like they had the pincer thing at the mm-hmm. end, but. Well, even if like they had like blades that like came out of them, that would make yeah. it yeah. make more like, sense. To me, they kind of looked like uh, Doc Ock mm-hmm. arms yeah. more than razor. Even like, um, yeah. do you know Constrictor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it reminded like, me of. Yep, from Marvel. That bar scene, I didn't just enjoy her kicking everybody's butt, but I love the guy with the dogs. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was just about yes. to say, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. I mean, she again, a, that, that's the CGI. Dog. I hate mm-hmm. that. They made everybody look. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I wonder if the dogs are full CGI because they Probably, looked yeah. really good. Yeah. yeah. The um, I feel like they did like the off-screen death twice, which is weird. You know, like I could get it with the dog, but like also doing it with Jennifer Connelly mm. is weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I liked the the first fight scene that she's in where her dad. She finally finds. Oh, that was cool too. Yeah. Find that her, mm-hmm. I guess her dad, her uncle, yeah. her dad, the her, the doctor, the, the doctor, doctor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Doctor Ito. I think I'd say dad. Yeah, I, uh, think, I think that's a fair... Yeah, um, mm-hmm. Dr. Ito, uh, that he's a hunter. That fight scene was really cool. I enjoyed yeah. watching that. And she hasn't even really figured out her full potential yet. No, yeah. it sort of just came about yeah. her, which I sort of like that she's realized now... I'm something more yeah. here. And yeah. I, like I mean, the, she has yeah. a flashback. Yeah, yeah. I like that Dr. Yeah. Eater is just looking at her like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. What a maid. Mm-hmm. What is this? <laughs> I, that You brought up a point, though. The, his weapon... Yeah. Annoyed the hell out of me. Yeah, it looked so hard mm-hmm. to, <laughs> to wheel. Yeah. yeah, you know, like it was like too oversized for him. So, what did you just say? It's like a weird video game weapon. Yeah, like, I think there's really something like it in Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, it is the main Fortnite thing. Oh, is it? Yeah, like when you like you know the pickaxe. <laughs> the pickaxe. Mm. Um, one of my biggest gripes with this movie, and I felt it like the first time when they went underground. I'm like, oh, this whole movie feels like a video game a little bit. Because, oh. like, especially, like, those fights, like, it almost felt like that was, like, the second part of, like, the boss battle, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of yeah. bothered me a little bit, because, like, it, I guess goes back to, like, what I was thinking about the story, where it just wasn't, like, that great. It feels like a, like a video game story, where, you know, there was, like, the perfect breaks to go, like, do, like, missions and shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was my own. Yeah, actually, also, maybe it was because, I don't know if you guys had this, but on Hulu, when I was watching it, there was, like commercial cut yeah i had commercial cuts in mine it was really weird i didn't get commercials i, I got, we went yeah. to well, amazon okay yeah, yeah. My, i it made me like wonder like was this a for tv movie no, no. I, yeah, I didn't it think wasn't. it was because like the commercial cuts were so weird it like really threw me off two of them that were like five minutes long each mine just dipped to black and went well, right back i think it's just because like that it's like hulu takes the like edited for tv versions mm. So, because it's it was like on FX. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember at one point, like she was like, "Ah, I, I can get a new body," and then it just like went to black or something. I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. <laughs> I, was that for an ad? Even though it was like a commercial break. Oh, because mine there, just dipped and then came back. No, mine really did the commercials. No, there was one. I I watched it without like commercials. Yeah. But there was like a very weird like near the start, just like dipped to black that I found weird. Mm. 
I forget when. That is odd, because that's like kind of perfect timing. I was watching that scene right when my break like at work was about to end. So I think I literally paused it when she said, wow, I can get a new body. Pause. <laughs> that's work. funny. Wow, I, that, that's interesting. I just realized that. Speaking of the um, like Martian body uh, scene, though, mm-hmm. uh, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. But um, like the purple one. I felt like nanotech. it was kind of like weird. Um, how it like why like nobody tried to like take that out of the water. You know, like it's not. Th- it wouldn't be that hard. I don't think. No, like, but except that it was outside of the city. I'm surprised it? that nobody who's connected would take it. Was out. it outside the city? It was outside of the city. Oh. Yeah, he had to take her. He had, he had to, to take go, her like, out. I mean, yeah. It's just weird. Rock area. Yeah. And what was the reason for him having the okay to go leave the city? I mean, I guess he's just friends with Vector. Yeah. Or mm-hmm. business partners, I guess. I mean, he does steal body parts for him. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. And I think the ship itself only activated because of her. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, what, like, was the underwater much. part, like, even there was a door? Was yeah. There? She actually was able, she had access mm-hmm. in, mm-hmm. and then it was just that, I guess anyone else that went in there, it was dark and and still. things were locked up, but I, once I she got in. I still feel it, like it would not have been that hard to like take it out of the water and just like see what we could extract, you know? I, d- yeah. I don't think that they could get any access into it, though. I, I'm thinking of like District 9 when they get into mm. that, right. you know? Yeah. 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 Like I don't, I don't think it would be that hard, especially with like all the technology they have. Like that's some of the world that I don't like. How like why? Like I feel like they would have the technology to like build a spaceship or whatever to like right. go to the fucking uh, Zolum. Yeah, yeah. You got this huge city floating. The right Iron above, yeah. City. Yeah. Fucking technology. Although hub. a lot of the technology supposedly was lost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They couldn't reproduce her heart. Mm-hmm. You know, at that point. Yeah. So that. Uh, the scene where she's like, "I'll give you my heart," was that, very so off-putting. Weird. That was yeah, it was very weird to me. That that yeah. the scene where she's like, "I'll give you my heart, just take mm-hmm. it," and then he's like, "No, you shouldn't trust anyone that t- says things to you." <laughs> it just felt like a Spy Kids movie again. Like really, like ah, here's like the wholesome message we have to put into this. Yeah, yeah no, that was a terrible scene for me too, and it just didn't yeah. make any sense. Yeah, and, and like, I get it. Stop! I'm hungover. I don't want your heart. Yeah, <laughs> they, they could have done something else there. I think you know, like, cut it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I cut it. It's true. Yeah. <clears throat> Unnecessary. Yeah. You know, but later on in the scene when he's stabbed and she takes him inside and then she leaves with his head connected to the heart, that was kind of weird to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was just kind of weird. It's just an odd visual, mostly. Yeah. 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 They should have kept him like that because he died five minutes later. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> killed him. Just let him die. <laughs> Thanks for saving me. And then <laughs> I'm dead. <Yeah. laughs> Just for him to be tortured, basically. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I have no idea, like, anything about the Nova guy. He just, like, created them, mm-hmm. but we'll never hear from him again. No. And he created them. Huh? What do you mean created them? Didn't he create them? Or, like, train them? Nova. Edward Norton. Who created who? Alita. I don't think so. No, I don't think he created no. them, because that's, that's 300 years but ago. remember, like, they showed the thing where she was having the flashback, and it was... Like, this is when she got cut up, and she just had the one arm left underground. She had the flashback where she was getting trained mm-hmm. in that, like, floating thing that kind of looked like the area from Shang-Chi. Yeah. Like, the fighting area. And then she messed up, and then, like, Nova came up on the screen, and he was saying something to her. Yeah, actually, it was Nova. That? Huh? I do remember that. It was Nova. Yeah, so I... Really? Is he 300 years old? I, they said something about, like, this is the price you have to pay for immortality or something. Ah. I well, remember does, a line like that. Whoever she's, like, practicing with, doesn't she tell her, like, you have to, like, be better to kill yeah. Nova? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, I think that's what she tells her. Like, you have to be strong enough to kill him. Oh, maybe. I, you might be right, actually. She said it more than once. That yeah. was Gelda, I guess her name was, right? Fucking beats me. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm. I, I was looking at the character who kept saying that to her, mm-hmm. and I was saying this. She looks familiar to me, and then I looked it up, and it's Michelle Rodriguez played her. Who's that? Who? That the the person you're talking about that says you have to be better in the flashback. Yeah. Okay. Just, oh yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That that connects now because she mm-hmm. was with her on the moon too. Yes, mm-hmm. that's right. Doing and I'm saying to myself, this. What I I don't remember is her fighting on the 
moon wherever she mm-hmm. was what exactly who was she fighting and who was she standing for <laughs> and, yeah, yeah I, I mean that's just like a weird like that i didn't know and i don't even know if she even really knew but yeah, it, yeah. that sort of told her that she was a warrior but it looked like yeah. they kept it, like talking about like uh like because i remember tangin like hugo's friend that gets killed by mm-hmm. the bounty hunter later on yeah. right he was talking to the his like girlfriend or like their friend and then she was like how come you don't like alita mm-hmm. he was like yeah i just never got the whole hard body thing yeah. that's such a cheesy scene <laughs> yeah. yeah it was but then uh he was like yeah you know they're probably fighting on the enemy side and then she was like 300 years ago mm-hmm so like yeah. maybe they were controlled by Nova. Because <laughs> <They were, laughs> he did yeah, that. Cause like the weird that part about it was, if you remember the moon fight scene, yeah. she's fighting against people in spacesuits. That's yeah, right. Yeah. So I'm assuming she's killing humans, humans or because right. and well, well that's was, the deal. She, she was, was a berserker. On what was considered the other side? U R M or O M S or U R M U R M. Yeah. So she was like a killing machine. I think made by the mm-hmm. people up in yeah. Mars. Fucking Mars. Yeah. yeah. Or wherever, yeah. Because even that ship they said was from Mars. Okay. So she was. Yeah, she was definitely she the, was the bad side. She yeah. even even Doctor Ito mentioned something about that, but it was so many years ago. Right. Three hundred. You know? Yeah. Okay. So so they had the technology. I, yeah, That's I have, who had the I have technology. a bit of a theory with, with, with this Nova character. Is Nova? I think Nova is an artificial intelligence that came to, I guess, Earth. Whatever the like, is it Earth? Yeah. It's Earth. Yes. Yeah. Uh, to like send these programmed droids to you know basically kill humankind mm-hmm. and then slightly take over and then that that's just the way everything works now is that is that the whole world is that the basis that he sort of the runs AI it? thing he, is interesting because I kind of I was like thinking that too like he's but then like also Ido is the same race as him right because aren't Ido's they all humans up there though? but yeah. they had like the blue thing I thought that was just like a artificial mark like a mm-hmm. tattoo or something i don't know no it's a Jennifer stone Connelly it's a stone it. yeah. Yeah, yeah because yeah, I, just, I just meant like tattoo it. as in like something but that you put on yourself it looks like Ito's the only one that's down there though maybe he just disagreed with what well they, uh, no there was a whole thing how about him daughter. and her because their daughter couldn't walk or whatever mm-hmm. that they had to go down because they weren't perfect or whatever hmm. so Interesting. i i want to disagree because if nova was the reason that Alita's became, yeah. you know, then wouldn't he have the knowledge to reproduce them? Mm. You know, the technology was lost. Yep. That's why she wound up in the trash. So if Nova really was leading them back then, yeah. you'd think he would carry that technology well, maybe with him. Yeah. Maybe it's like a lost? lack of the resources. Because, like, what does he want with Vector? You know, like, why is he yeah, controlling I mean, Vector? And why is Vector trying to get all these parts? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just weird yeah. that that's like kind of and yeah. then later on I guess you find that Vector is actually dealing in real body parts mm-hmm. and he's behind the killings right oh yeah I mean I knew you know, that and, yeah. yeah but we didn't know that right away it was until later on yeah. did you actually see the body parts right. mm-hmm. you know speaking of Nova controlling Vector I thought it was very stupid that Jennifer Connelly's character would tell Vector that like she later saved mm-hmm. uh, Hugo mm-hmm. cause like <laughs> like, why would you tell the enemy that yeah. when yeah. it was supposed After to be you made it a secret, and yeah. then you yeah. tell them. Yeah. Yeah. Because then also Nova would be able to know. Mm-hmm. Sure. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there was... So how was Nova able to control <clears throat> Vector, but not Jennifer Connelly's character? I don't know. And then, of course, he got into the big mech's head or whatever he was. Yeah. yeah. It's, well, we, it, it almost seemed like don't know anything about Nova. The, right. That um, Vector, yeah. like, didn't... Wasn't able to tell... Um, like when he was being controlled because he got yeah. no no I mean like it, it like it's it set it up so like he didn't know that like Nova was like a factor and like controlling people you know like I mean the first time that fucking Gruishko is controlled you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. oh That's maybe weird. yeah well I I think he knew that like he could do it because like well I mean like he didn't know that like Jennifer Connelly <laughs> I keep calling her I forget her name but it it didn't seem like Jennifer Connelly um like told Vector like that Gruishko is a part of it you know Gruishko. Yeah, weird. Well, mm-hmm. maybe it's because of the thing she has on her. Mm. She's just part of that. That's I guess, what I, that's what Nova's I thought. World, so she can't, she, she can't be controlled. Yeah, she can't maybe be controlled. actually, it's a good and point. Vector isn't. Vector yeah, is no. basically just a bad yeah. human. Yeah. Yeah. A human. Why can't Nova control just like people around? Yeah, uh, like Edo, but he did yeah. say have well, eyes Ido's everywhere. From up there. Well, I mean, yeah, like not Edo, but like why not yeah. the fucking doctor? Then? Anybody? Yeah, I don't know. Well, again, that's like you just said. That's why he alludes to. 
when he says, I have eyes everywhere. So he can, he basically says, I yeah, can, can literally go into you, anybody and look at you. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, if that's true, they didn't. Well, really if that's not then. true, why not actually use it? Do, yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. got a moral code, guys. Come yeah, on. He's, yeah. a, he's actually a nice guy. Unless we, <laughs> maybe there's... He's actually pretty chill. Guys. <laughs> Some sort of cut scene where they just explain that like you have to give consent or whatever. It doesn't look like they give consent. He just I goes mean, in. Well, I mean, like, just... You have to do it once, like send some ah. sort of fucking contract. Maybe, okay. but at, at the end of it, was it was he bad because he wanted world domination? Was he bad because he was just had a bunch yeah, of yeah, right? Bad- like, what is he? What is even like his motive? Right. Yeah. Because at the end, she becomes like the LeBron of Motorball, and she has the sword pointed yeah, up yeah. at him. Yeah. And he's who else down. is up there with? No, yeah, we never really I seen no that. Idea. Either, right? There's so much stuff falling from there, yeah. and the waste, and even early on, they, you know, uh, spec- her boyfriend speculates that you're from up there because right, you mm-hmm. were found in the trash. Right. But you probably figure maybe she was one of those things hit her that uh, come yeah, down yeah. the tube. Maybe like, she wasn't the up there. That she that was battling up there right. and the got knocked thing down. Coming yeah. down the tube, like yeah. that's probably how she was knocked down. Mm-hmm. But I. There's a lot of unanswered stuff. Yeah, yeah. And you saw him for three seconds. Why was Ed Norton in this scene? Why was well, he even, you know? Just, you know, big actor. Yeah. For, we'll I mean, literally, you saw his full face for like five seconds. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, why I mean, get, he does why that, get a nobody for that part when you, you, I know, suppose. you know Edward Norton? Mm-hmm. He needed some coffee money. <laughs> Probably. No, it's better than the last guy who had the Coke problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <West Bentley>. yeah. <laughs> Was this a box office winner? Yeah, I, well, probably. It did hundreds I, of millions of dollars. I think like it did 450 million. worldwide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think it was 300 something in I the think US. Four. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 300 US yeah. maybe, but yeah. 400 definitely. Yeah. I saw. Which isn't that bad. I mean, yeah. I don't know what was put into it. I'll yeah, be how honest. much was the budget for this one? 200 something, I think. Okay, so it made money. All right. It made money. And this is, because I don't still don't know the difference, manga? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or anime? That's no, manga. Couldn't tell you the difference. Yeah. I, I guess it's manga is, is comics, anime is animation. Gotcha. So if they take a character from the comics and turn it into a movie or something, it, it's anime. So the manga is strictly the books. Comics, yeah. yeah. Comics. Okay. okay. Yep. I like the um, Hugo running scene. It's yeah, like parkour. Even though it wasn't really set up previously that he could do parkour, like I did like the parkour itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when he's so, running away from the yeah. bounty hunter. Mm-hmm. Just another scene for me that felt like you know, Spy Kids. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say the what like made me like think of Spy Kids. Like I knew it was Robert Rodriguez, but like Spy Kids part um, was just like the motorball. Yeah. So you want to get into our favorite scenes then? Yeah, sure. My favorite scene is definitely the uh, the initial bar brawl. Yeah. I thought that was the best use of like the action CGI stuff. Mm-hmm. Me too. Ball like fight scene. Kicked the two beers. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. That kind of reminded me like the Matrix. Yeah. Yeah. You know, with that slow mo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You want to know what I didn't like in that scene though? When she like it was so sudden, but she was just like, and I guess it was it kind of played for last, but like how she did like the speech. Oh, I fucking hated yeah. that too. Uh, yeah. yeah. That yeah. was yeah. such a because like. No one was even listening. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. I mean, I think the worst part is how sudden it was, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. it didn't Come work on, my brothers! Like, shut yeah. the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Like, you, yeah. like, no one even knows what you're first talking about. First day. <laughs> like, yeah. she hasn't fucking first hunted hour. anyone yet. Yeah. No, first 40 minutes, if that. Yeah. First 15. Mm-hmm. She got the thing and then went to the bar. Mm-hmm. Come but on, my brothers! I do love the way she spoke, though. Like, like to me, the character, isolated from everyone else, yeah. I, I loved the design of the character. I loved how they put her through her steps, you know, and, and then when she got her new suit, she was holding herself up by a mm-hmm. finger, you know, mm-hmm. she was yeah. doing all. But I just liked the way she spoke, too, like when she, Z- Zapan? Zapan, yeah. After she kicks him and she kicks the sword in the wall mm-hmm. and she just looks at him and says, you don't, you do not deserve yeah. a weapon like that. You know, it was just a, a lot of everything together as a package. I really liked the character. Mm-hmm. Story wise, they could have did a little bit more explaining. It's and like this is like every Robert Rodriguez movie. Yeah. It's like here's this really cool visual thing, and then like we'll try to cram in as much cool as, action as we can, yeah. and yeah. maybe there'll be a okay story. I thought it was all right. I'd I'd have to. Um, I think it was different scenes, but when it goes into Gar- the Garishka fight or whatever <laughs> his name is yeah. in the bar and in the bar like going down. Yeah. yeah, except for the one part where. I, I she gets chopped she gets, up. Yeah. Although I do like that she gets chopped up. I just don't like how it happened. Mm-hmm. How they showed it. They could have yeah. showed it a little better. But just like 
I love like fighting with like all you got when you don't have a lot and like mm -hmm. getting limited, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So now she definitely had that, the warrior's heart, you know, and uh that that was pretty wild. I don't know. I still have to go back to like my favorite scene was probably in in the ring, you know, when she's fighting all the, the guys. When she finds out that they're there to just kill her, you know? And so she just goes into warrior mode and she took care of herself and then took them out to the streets too. Yeah. That, I like that. That was after she got her armor? Yeah, oh, she yeah, had her yeah, armor. She, she's yeah, already yeah, in yeah, yeah. full. And even though of how she got there onto the ship, I like that scene too when she, you know, figured like stuff's starting to come back. This is where I'm from and it probably isn't good for those people who are here knowing that I'm part of the history that probably yeah. destroyed them or part of the fall. Mm -hmm. But now she knows where she's from and she knows that I'm, I'm something more and nobody's telling me this. And Dr. Ito, you know, and I want to find out more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so. Um, <clears throat> I, just, I also want to say, like, I, I just don't think this movie was, like, very much for me. Because I, okay. I, something about, like, metal on metal fights, like, robot fights, just don't at all do it for me. Like, sparks flying and, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's not for me. It, I, another movie I did think about with this one is um, Blue Beetle. See, I didn't see that, so I, I have to go back and see that. Anyone else kind of get like a little bit of Blue Beetle vibes? Not really. Not really. <laughs> I, I was more like more so the action. No. Okay. I loved the action in this. You loved it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't really say that about Blue Beetle. So. Um, I liked. I loved parts of the action, but then like the roller rink one, I didn't like at all. Really. I thought the action in this was like a lot more creative. It's like using the setting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I felt like the roller rink kind of reminded me of Cars. Mm. <laughs> Huh. Could I could that. see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Yeah. That's funny. But that is like high. actually a good comparison because like somewhat like very high stakes but almost played in like a very kitty way. Mm -hmm. Right. So I could see that. Yeah. yeah. What else? Uh you have a favorite scene? Oh uh, the the first scene that we see her start fighting and mm. she's just figuring her in stuff out. In the alleyway. In the yeah. alleyway. I that just, was actually a good scene. I like that that one I guess my favorite tidbit from that scene is where like the weird spider lady like mm. jumps on the wall and just i thought she was a great character yeah that that woman and then uh she gets her like melon split open <laughs> yeah with one kick that i loved so was yeah cool. that um, was a great scene too that's oh, when she too. figured out her true strength though, yep. she was crushing people's skulls with her feet yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and it looked like light work for her too mm -hmm. oh yeah i liked her first fight with the big guy oh yeah, yeah, yeah. i, I like the fact that she, she was obviously wasn't going to overpower him. Mm -hmm. So her fighting skill, like the first punch that he throws at her, mm -hmm. she kind of jumps on his hand and directs it toward the ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. You know? And I was like, oh, that, that was pretty cool. Yeah. And then she jumps up above him, and on her way down, she Those, hits like the joint. Yeah. Yep. And cut it in half. And, and, and yeah, yeah, knocks his arm but off. I, I just think it's funny that she kicked his ass, what, three or four times in this before <laughs> yeah. she killed him? Yeah. Even that time, she's got one arm, and she sticks it in his freaking eye yeah. and yeah. breaks it off yeah. and gets away, knowing that this could be the death of me, but yeah. I'm leaving my mark on this son of a bitch again. <laughs> He's going to remember me forever. I thought that was, I thought that was pretty but cool. But I, I will say one thing. There was... Yes, she was very brutal mm -hmm. and technical in her fighting. There was also a hint of elegance to it, if yeah. you, you notice. Mm -hmm. she does oh, this, she was so smooth. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of... I wouldn't, Like, yes, there was a mm -hmm. lot of real force behind her punches but there's also times where like you said where she jumps on the arm and then yeah. does that they had mentioned she is like a master of some fake like martial art right yeah that was yeah. only made like for the the bots mm -hmm. right which i liked because it like kind of implies or not implies but just like you can it like infer that like the robots or, or like cyborgs aren't that good at fighting because like it's all like different things that you can do with these things right. these, like yeah. nobody ever like practices with like what they got you know right like it's n not something that you can really build on because it's all like different technologies right so. it's not necessarily a fighting style it's just uh i have things that can mm -hmm. shoot at you or yeah. i'm yeah. bigger than you yeah. are or, yeah. it's yeah. like how like in marvel yeah. or like dc like every superhero has like a different fighting style right. mm -hmm. because of their powers it's, it's like a good way of differentiating her from the other cyborgs mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. she, she was a cyborg that and they all trained as a unit in that mm -hmm. special martial arts mm -hmm. 
you know, which I forget the name of, but they kept yeah, alluding I don't know. to it. It was yeah, some... definitely one of the like main points of the story, like the mm-hmm. one versus many, yeah, and mm-hmm. like teamwork, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For we are legion, we are many. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, I also liked the whole concept of um, a vector like owning the stadium or whatever, mm-hmm. the like team or game or whatever, and him like using that as a way to get like new technology mm-hmm. yeah i like to see him when he walked into the the locker room he's like you guys are all fucking scum but yeah. your hand yeah. picks scum <laughs> right, you wanna see? slap a rating on this six out of ten so yeah for as much as we disagreed we have the exact same rating yeah. i mean yeah i'm a, I'm a solid six also i think i told you the that dialogue yesterday. was fucking horrible again yeah. just because like it, it was i don't know Robert if it was Rodriguez like even movie. acting because like some of the acting most of the acting was really good yeah. jennifer connelly was flat and there was just some stupid scenes but like but the, the scene where they're talking about how solid. it's like the two friends we brought it up before how they're like talking about how alita's 300 years old mm-hmm. yeah and i just said i never got the hard body thing yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah but see the <laughs> acting wasn't so bad funny. in that it was just the dialogue yeah. you're right even like christopher waltz is you know he's putting forward a good performance but it's just like something about him like in well just like fucking so many scenes where he's just like giving exposition yeah mm-hmm. like instead of and like anything creative you know yeah, i was yeah. about to say i was gonna bring that up to me personally christoph waltz's character was very stale for mm-hmm. me i i have to agree and other stuff that i've seen him in and i do respect him he's a good yeah, actor no, I hunt, yeah. you know and uh this just didn't uh, do it for me. I kind of thought his daughter dying was like an absurd thing, mm-hmm. just like yeah. how she died. Oh, dude! I mean, she got knocked over by a fucking drug addict. <laughs> yeah, and died. smashed by fucking, a drug addict. I, I gave him way too much power. <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah. where that that whole storyline was just kind of weird. The way it happened, take her because she's out of the wheelchair. She fucking did think, that. And yeah, she died. Yeah. Uh, she probably broke her neck of or the something. Wall now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, right before she was true. able to walk. <laughs> oh my yeah, god. Yeah, he could have stuck those legs on her. She could have ran away from him. <laughs> That's right. Jesus. Oh my god. But uh, <laughs> I, I'm gonna give this a seven because for some unknown reason I really love Alita as a character. Mm-hmm. And for me, rewatchable is big and and like I said, I've probably seen it three or four times and it's yeah. you know, I don't mind watching it again. You know, a year from yeah. now. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think rating it between like a six and seven is, you know, yeah. Crazy. Next time, though, I'd I like to see, see a, a more focused story. Mm-hmm. And uh, good luck, know, James Cameron. So flat a lot on his yeah. plate. I'm going to go with a solid five just it's, it's the because uh, the fucking eyes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually creeped you out. That, how you said it was rewatchable. I saw somebody say that they watched this a bunch of times on the side. Just like watching it while doing something else, oh. which is weird because I feel like that's not the type of movie. It yeah, is, right. you know, yeah. it's, it's yeah. interesting. That's like a, a weird one to. Uh, you know what? I found myself more drawn to look at my phone during this movie than like the last like ten movies that we've watched. Maybe that's See? why and you didn't like it as and much. And you came downstairs and yelled at me for looking at my phone while watching. <laughs> I mean, like I, I wasn't that. like chronically I I on my phone. I'd say this was like pretty engaging movie. And there's no, no doubt. I enjoyed it. Like, even from the start. I, I'd yeah. Say it well, is. then again, you know, I am not a fan of real steel and. You could put the, those two movies side by side. I mean, I'm not right. the biggest. I don't know Steel about putting it side by side, but I don't. Think I enjoyed I really, Real Steel. I would, too. I thought that I would watch Real Steel again today. Yeah, I know you watched it like fucking every time it came on. For I a got month sucked straight. into it. It's one of those <laughs> movies I get sucked I into. It. I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, visually, I, this movie does it for me. So that's why I guess. Yeah. I, I enjoy just rewatching it because I love the fight scenes. Mm-hmm. I loved how they did even the little. It was so detailed for me, like a, yeah. the street scene mm-hmm. with people in the background, you know, conducting business, and then you had the sentry, yeah, yeah. coming yeah. down the street, mm-hmm. you know, which again, no one explained why they needed this big ass tank or whatever it was. Yeah, in Police such a small, like outlawed yeah. Or something. Yeah. in a small area, there's so many yeah, you know. mechs to take care of everything. It's like but, a weird uh, thing. They're like, yeah, no police anymore, but then like they just had that like police system. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah. I thought, um, you want to know what really made me think the um, like whole yeah, uh, uh, people from all different languages uh, came here. Um, is um, it never like mattered? You yeah, know? like nobody ever spoke fucking Spanish or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was always always English. It was like only that people were like different nationalities, you know. Yeah. 
the languages part. And that was a big ass chocolate bar. Oh, so yeah, I was actually just about <laughs> to mention this. I was going to say, you know, like what part of this movie, like maybe you want to just like gouge my eyes out <laughs> when he was like, you've got to try this. And then yeah. just like chocolate. Like, oh, this is amazing. It was so, like, <laughs> like fucking like looking back like a fucking child. It was weird. You know? Yeah. Like, I, I don't know who her as a child movie is, very is made for. I mean, because they, they do say a million fuck. dollars people worth. They say fuck so. in it. They use she their, says fuck. They use their one fuck. She did it. Yeah. Yeah. It was PG-13, so... Yeah, yeah. You get I one. guess they were mm-hmm. trying to grab yeah. a little bit of everybody. Definitely. I think that's the Robert Rodriguez way, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just cannot commit to making adult content or child content. Yeah, I Definitely. just really hated, like, how Alita was for, like, the first, like... 30 minutes just how she acted was just like way too childish like they were playing up the yeah. amnesia mm-hmm. a lot yeah so yeah. yeah she was very naive she was know. like i thought that's what the whole movie was gonna be like you know just like kind of like similar to iron giant or something where it's like you know this thing on a new world is stumbling through mm-hmm. and that did it well i did yeah. It did, yeah. But, but this like, one, like, I thought they were gonna do that, and then they kind of just like nixed it fifteen minutes after mm-hmm. introducing it. I don't know. Weird. Yeah, I felt like she learned her surroundings and everything about herself pretty very, quickly. Very yeah, quickly. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess it is like programmed into her already. I don't know. We already rated it. I don't really want to talk yeah, about yeah. this. Well, I think, I think she learned how to fight out of necessity. Mm-hmm. I, I think that part of her had to come back when she was fighting in the alley. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then she until, had the flashback. Yeah. yeah. That helped. Because don't forget, when she f- was first learning the game in yeah. the street, she got knocked on her ass, you know? Mm-hmm. So it wasn't like she already had these acrobatic moves. But so I ev- think... Even, like, her saving the cat, that didn't do anything? It was just I- weird to me that she's... And then she just puts her whole sandwich down in the street, you <laughs> yeah, know? Yeah, no, she bite, actually literally bites yeah. the sandwich yeah. that she's eating. I thought it was also weird that, like, the dog just, like, came into the bar with them, and I was like, oh, they've got, like, this, like, a new character that's going to be a mm-hmm. part of the crew, and then he just gets fucking killed. Yeah. 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 yeah, it wasn't a very deserving death. I mean, no, like, dogs, actually all dogs should yeah. die. <laughs> um, <laughs> but just, like, it wasn't even set up well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like, so, like it, it was meant for setup. It's the weird part. Yeah. You know? He it wasn't, wasn't a, a dog, dog lover. Though. I hated oh, that. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, that's I, I didn't really like the character. No. I, I liked him because I just kept thinking of Sam Elliott from Ghost Rider. <laughs> <laughs> Back onto, like, bad dialogue. It's underwater. We can't do that. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah, she just jumps yeah. off and walks there. Yeah, I'm 300 years old, really? <laughs> yes. Just like, yeah. yes, darling. You are. Yes. yes, you are. That's exactly I like the how we That's another one where there was a commercial cut for me. <laughs> I kind of like the response better than, like, her saying that. Yeah. My Time to Shine Hello, who's, like, a leaker that has leaked pretty reputably but he said omg this is too good i'm not going to ruin this but the post credit scene in deadpool and wolverine is so mind-blowing i can't believe they were able to pull this off without anyone knowing and rob liefeld who made deadpool, co-creator of deadpool. yeah he said he ain't lying to you so, really yeah so yeah if you know so the post scene and rob liefeld has you know if he's not bullshitting. Yeah. Cause yeah. Like, I mean, think, his last name's in the <laughs> trailer. Yeah, so. I mean, Liefeld kind of has a tendency to bullshit sometimes. Mm. But, <laughs> um, you know, if he's not lying and, you know, you're the co-creator of this character, mm-hmm. maybe he knows something. All right. So, so let's get into the juice here. If it's so big that Rob Liefeld's like, you guys, yeah, you know, not lying here, pretty big one. There's two possible things that I think this could be. Either... Deadpool and Wolverine are going to recruit Tobey Maguire in the post credit scene, or we're going to see the return of RDJ Iron Man. Mm. Well, I have been seeing a few things pop up, and definitely uh, something with Tobey Maguire could be possible, because they've been talking about two separate Spider-Man 4s. Yeah. And that one has strong possibilities. But then also the whole Iron Man thing, because he even says... I'm willing to do it again. It depends on what Marvel wants to do. So he he himself says he's willing to come back and yeah. do do something with the I character. Mean, it's Secret Wars, it's got to yeah. be. It's got to be Secret Wars. Yeah, yeah. Or, so that's what I like, was thinking. It's if be they secret. do do a Spider-Man Four, that'd be amazing. Yeah, but there's two separate Spider-Man Fours on the thing well, because know, Tom Holland's been very vocal. Yeah, we know Tom Holland well. Spider-Man Four is happening. Yeah, I just hope that's a ground like a a regular hometown. And not space and the whole yeah. bit. I, I just, I, honestly, as far as the Sam know. Raimi Spider-Man 4 goes, I think it's just a yeah. matter of time yeah. until we get that. I, I think you're right, because even he has been vocal about I mean, it recently I think as well. Spider-Man 2 just like went back into the box office and it made like 800 something mm-hmm. thousand just amazing i think it's like doing better than like most movies in theaters right now yeah mm-hmm. so so yeah 
But uh, Tom Holland, Spider-Man 4, hopefully will be introduced coming through uh, some of the other TV shows that are coming out now. Yeah, uh, you know? I think Daredevil. I think is Daredevil gonna is going to be the big push. I don't know if that. he's going to be in it, but no, I can but see I think it's going to mentioned. be implied. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and I hope that's what pushes that, and it's that whole street level. Uh, then, like you say that, but at the same time, like I'm like 99 percent sure he's going to be like on the main team for the next Avengers movie. Mm-hmm. What comes first, next Avengers movie or Daredevil. Spider-Man Four? Oh, uh, probably Spider-Man Four. Yeah, so he can go street level and then move up again. It's it's kind of just like an annoying thing to do, though, with yeah. the character. Speaking of which, do we even know what the story is for Spider-Man 4? No. Not I think it's you, just like semi-confirmed, really. though, that like it is happening. Yeah. I don't know how they're going to make it bigger after the I don't Spider-Man. Think well, that's, bigger, and that's yeah. why Tom Holland has been vocal on it. And if it's true or not, but uh, he, he says now he's involved in creativity from the beginning. Whether he's just sitting and learning mm-hmm. and having input, he just wants to make sure they're not going to put out a shit sandwich again. Yeah. You know, after after what they left, he says he'd rather walk away from it knowing that he had such a great ending yeah, than do minute. something that's not going to be good at all. Yeah, good. Good. Mm-hmm. That's what I want to hear. Yeah, and we all want to hear that. So. Yeah. So anything actually in new in the Deadpool movie? Um, I heard two rumors. Go One, for it. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, Dazzler. Was yeah. supposed yes. to be Dazzler. Yes. Mm-hmm. And they're bringing back Frumpke Jensen to play uh, Phoenix. Yeah. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. She's coming back for Phoenix? That's the rumor. I wanted to bring this up, She's though, cool. but you can see the Russian in it. Oh, yeah. The Russian yeah. is... Oh, really? At least, like, That's we're hilarious. very led to believe. It's a huge guy in a yeah. white and red striped shirt. Oh, my God. He's sta- and there's a <laughs> yeah. scene Has where they're all in front of the Ant-Man skull. Right. I doubt yeah. it's the same actor. It looks it's like not a, the a, same actor. It looks like Azazel's Azazel in there, too. Azazel, Azazel. is there. Uh, is Azazel? It was uh, Lady Death Strike, by the way, uh, not Stroke. I said the other day. With yeah, the, Death the Strike coming out of her fingers. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's there. Um, Toad is there, and also we know Pyro already is going to be there. Okay, so, yeah, the original and, actor. Yeah, and what the hell's the For deal with Ant Man's skeleton? Oh. So yeah, that was me cool. and Jack did uh, our trailer breakdown video. Uh, we came to the conclusion well i know why he's there it's because it's like there's some stuff in this that's supposedly like based on the logan like comic book. okay we have in that get it's like in the future get wiped out this, um like he turned big like very big and died okay but in this i think it's supposed to be implied that like Eliath killed him so so yeah. what we said in our trailer breakdown video which is on youtube now um jack reminded me that in loki in you know the pruned void world mm-hmm. right. there is a giant yellow jacket helmet that you could see okay so we uh-huh. are like what if it's just the ant-man from whatever that situation right is? Mm-hmm. gotcha yeah well the tva is very big in this movie yeah we see that so i think it's gonna be pretty incredible i also love that like it's not like they use an ant-man suit that isn't just fucking like nanotechnology you know like it <laughs> yeah. actually flips up like a visor yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool yeah, it's the actual help. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jack and I were saying, like, for as much as it feels like they've shown of this movie, like, I almost still have, like, no idea what, you know, the plot is. Right. Which I right. like. Mm-hmm. I'm happy about that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know where the Doctor Strange portal could come in. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think they gave us. I think that's more just Wong. Enough. I think Wong might be in it because he does the portals stuff too but well i mean i also I, said ned is it anyone yeah, is it ned, just that yeah, like yeah, anybody wow. with the sling ring can use it yeah okay another uh thing that i saw actually was people were like there's a chance that maybe cassandra nova has a sling ring and it's just leading them elsewhere inside of the void to go like where she her. like uses fucking some sorcerer's hand maybe that'd be cool <laughs> well he's trying to recruit him because he says he's going to lose everything he loves mm-hmm. in his timeline mm-hmm. yeah so there is a rumor that we discussed uh jack and i where this movie is going to introduce the concept of like anchors to universes where if something happens to this one person in your universe it'll basically cause an incursion okay hmm. Hmm. that limits things and we still thinking this is the wolverine from which from well this is something we talked about jack said ultimately you want to say it I, th- I feel like it's before logan but after the revision in days of future past so so this is the because to wait the, for me what it looked like he meets him at the bar mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i think this is the bar from the first x-men, X-Men I, one? yeah from x-men you know where they he's he not shops, he hasn't been recruited by the x-men mm-hmm. yet he's well, not an x-man yet flag, he's kind of so. just yeah. i so, just so, have to say he looks awesome 
in the yellow suit. Holy crap. Yeah. 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 And, and they God go bless sleeveless, him. too. Yeah. Yeah. They also, didn't keep the shoulder pads when he sleeps. Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious out. now. Is that the same bar from where the young version of Professor X and Magneto come in that he just like fuck off? I feel like it's just some random Canadian bar. Yeah, it's yeah. some random Canadian bar. Ultimately, like I think it takes place like this version of Wolverine pre Logan, post Days of Future Past, but it's different than any Wolverine right. we've ever met. Right. Mm-hmm. He's not the right. I gotcha. I think he's just like incredibly depressed, and he probably had something to do with the death of all the other X Men. Because there's that one shot where it's almost like it looks like a dream sequence or something, where he's like in the field with all the giant statues, which are like the graves mm. of okay. the X Men. So, all right, well, I guess we'll find out yeah. soon yeah. enough. I feel like there's a lot of like deception in the trailer too. Absolutely, yeah. Because they were like definitely cutting together lines. They should be. Now you got me. Can't wait to see what the post credits are going to be. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty, Lord Chaos. Oh boy. First appearance, Marvel two and one around, and a real name, none. Occupation, abstract entity. Base everywhere. <laughs> hmm. Height, weight unknown. Eyes none. Hair none. Special powers abilities. Scope of powers is unknown, but can change destinies of specific individuals. Wow. Very interesting. An abstract entity. Depicted as a disembodied purple head, <laughs> Lord Chaos embodies the concept of chaos, just as other entities represent death, order, master order, depicted as a bald head with black eyebrows, and eternity. Alongside order, chaos strives to maintain a cosmic balance, occasionally intervening in mortal affairs. Following the restructuring of reality after Battle Worlds, Secret Wars, so I guess he's part of Secret Wars, Lord Chaos merged with Master Order to become a new cosmic being named Logos. The new entity tried to bend reality to its will until defeated and separated into order and chaos once more. Is that another picture? It's the purple head. Good. Mm-hmm. It's the purple head. I could dig the fact that there has... Me to hold it up. For there to be order, there has to be chaos. Yeah. You know, that yin-yang, everything I st- I, I'm still so equal. confused of what, what the fuck he is. And, like, he's just, just a, a being. A personification being. of chaos, I guess. So is yeah. he just a god? No. What comic does it say he's in? Uh... Marvel 2-in-1 Annual number 2 from 1977. Hmm. I, I, I don't remember him. He's no, been around for a while. Boy. Marvel 2-in-1 is um, the thing, right? 2-in-1 so, is actually, the thing yeah. and whoever. I think uh, Doctor I have Strange one. is in that. Team Up part. is yeah. Spider-Man. Yes. Marvel Team Up was the Spider-Man. Yeah. Marvel 2-in-1. I'm going to go grab a 2-in-1 real quick. I want to okay. show you. <laughs> and that was number 2? Yes, that one was number 2. Wow. Yeah, that's... I don't I recognize it. Um, the... F- I think he's also in Infinity War. So he's part of Secret Wars and Infinity Wars? Well, I'm not... No, he said after. After. Yeah, after. after Secret Wars, there was chaos and... Well, I wonder if that's... I, f- I don't remember it from, like, the original Secret Wars. That's or, the only one I've read. Yeah, the original Secret Wars a long time. So he comes around after the Secret Wars? He's always been around. Chaos? <laughs> Order and chaos. But then he merged with fucking what was it? master chaos I, st- or something. I still don't get that he's in how he's an actual comic book character yeah <laughs> i don't know it's just like some random it's, cosmic thing well look at uh, eternity right yeah. you don't really see eternity but in um thor what the uh, butcher mm-hmm. actually got to go st- right he was at the doorway mm-hmm. every time he had to make yeah. a one wish or mm-hmm. whatever so, is it, so does that mean if there's order, there's chaos, there's love, there's hate? Yeah, there's, there's entities that have their own thing to do, and every now and then, I guess... That, that was just a weird like summary, because it didn't really say what he did. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't no. specify what no. he does. I guess probably in like three comics. Chaos, man. Powers, chaos. none. Big, bald, unknown. purple head. Unknown. 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 Not the full scope no, was unknown. unknown. But he's a big, bald, purple head. So it actually, it, it's not a two-in-one, but it's a, a what-if. Oh, the what-ifs. Beast and the Thing continued to mutate. That seems pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I don't particularly like that thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nasty-looking yeah. thing. That's what, we're... what if the Silver Surfer lost the power cosmic? Mm. I'm pretty sure he has <laughs> a few times. They had <laughs> one <laughs> opportunity, Marvel, and it always pissed me off to recreate, the to, to give the thing a, an upgrade. And... It was right at the time when he lost his... He wasn't the thing anymore. He was a human. Mm -hmm. And uh, Reed made him the suit. And, of course, he fought Galactus. All right? So uh, while they're fighting Galactus, Galactus looks at him and says, I sense you're not the same thing that I've seen before. Mm -hmm. And he shoots him with cosmic power. And the thing falls, but he's like, nothing... I don't feel anything, you know. Mm -hmm. know? And later on, he, like, bursts out of... 
the suit. And he's standing there and he says, I, I don't know, I feel maybe a little bit bigger or a little bit stronger. And from then on, they didn't give him any extra strength or any extra. That He says it. But I'm kind of like, that would have been the perfect time yeah. for a real big yeah. upgrade, you know, mm -hmm. to put him at, I don't ever say the Hulk's level, but, you know, where all these other guys don't come along and just start pushing him around. Mm -hmm. And they never did that. No, I like how, like, in off. the early Fantastic Four comics, it, it, he's just, like, still just, like, dealing with, like, people, like, from his, like, street. Yeah. <laughs> he's just, like, this giant orange guy. And, like, they, you know, the Fantastic Four is just, like, dealing with some, like, crazy shit. And he's like, I gotta, like, fight these thugs on my street. <laughs> Yancey Street. Yeah. yeah. But anyway. Mm -hmm. All right. So, chaos and order, and we're done. Yeah. Next one up for the Cape Critiquers Big Hero 6. Watch along. See you then. All Yay. Right. Tune in next time for Big Hero 6. Subscribe to the channel and leave a like underneath this video. There's a lot of Easter eggs in Big Hero 6. <laughs> <laughs> bye. All right, bye. Smooches. I haven't done laundry in six months. One pair lasts me four days. I go front, I go back, I go inside out, then I go front and back. <laughs> <laughs>